right. So you get to hear a little bit of the monochord, which is what this is. It has uh, it has friction uh, zither pins uh, and a wrench that will come with it, so you can tune it. It has 26 strings, and there's the other bridge. It has a little bit of uh, this is. Um, Spalted red birch. The um, the these pin hitches here and the uh, the zither pins are set into hard rock maple. The instrument itself is made. The top and the bottom are solid red oak, uh, planed down to be pretty thin under a quarter of an inch. Uh, there's 26 strings and the instrument is um, has a variety of string gauges on it um, which I will list in the detail so that you have more of a more of a fuller sounding chord. It is homemade. It has uh, imperfections in it. The uh, finish on top is just lightly sprayed um, lacquer. Um, the little green uh, rosettes there are actually marble paper, 100 year old marble paper that's been cut out and glued around the sound holes. The sides are common cherry. Um, we've got a little nail that didn't quite, it came out the side. Um, I pre-drilled it, but and it's flush. It's doesn't uh, it's sticking out. You can see it, but it's it's smooth. It's not going to snag your hand. So it's glued, but there's also copper tacks, copper nails. It's hard to see nailing on the uh, bottom of the instrument. And there's rough plane marks, but it's smooth. So it is. It has some unfinished characteristics to it, but. Then the uh, these blocks here are um, bloodwood. Let me see if I can turn turn it over to the end here. So what you're looking at is this piece here comes down, and it's a solid block up here and this is all hard rock maple and the rest of it's finished off with common cherry so your the hard rock maple block is probably two inches thick here and maybe an inch and a half or an inch yeah about an inch wide so you've got a huge block that of really solid wall or uh, maple that your pins are in so they're gonna they're gonna be in there they're gonna be able to stay tuned and it's a very solidly built instrument. It's very, it's rather heavy. Um, and there you have it. You've got monochord. And it's tuned to D. Uh, you probably be able to go. D, E, F maybe, um, not much below. Um, C might be a little floppy, and you go any higher, and you're going to start breaking strings. Okay, so you just keep that in mind. You're pretty much limited to D, D sharp. At least it sound, it'll sound its best. And you can always restring it, too. You know, you don't have to have all this. You can just put one set of the same gauge strings on it, and you'll have more of a monotone, you know. But this has a little bit of a bass and middle and high register strung like this. So. You notice I've got one really thin string, I think it's a 12, in between these two heavier strings, which I'm pretty sure 48. So you get a little different sound.
and also up here I've got some 23s right in the midst of uh, 12s and or 16s and 12s even though they're tuned to the same pitch you get a little different texture with the thicker string and here these are copper just pure copper I think they're 20 gauge. So a lot of fun, create a lot of different texture, but you'll have the single sound. And it is not amplified, so it's a purely acoustic instrument. Thanks for watching.